So, I was watching a YouTube video, and um, in this video they wound up um, actually renting a mechanical bull. And that got me thinking. I know a place where I'd be able to go ride a mechanical bull. And I want to know if you guys think that I should uh, go ride it and make a fool of myself. Also, something I asked on my Discord. If you're not following me on the Discord, link to that down below. But uh, I asked on my Discord uh, yesterday as I'm recording this. If you guys think I should, uh, you know, run some time with a um, hypnotist. And have them make me do some stupid stuff. Because I remember I did not participate in this, but I was able to watch for my senior party when I graduated high school. One of the things that they did was they wound up renting a hypnotist that was there for an hour to two hours. I'm not sure how long. It was It was towards the end of the night and I was already tired and not keeping track of time. But they rented a uh, hypnotist and made people like cluck like a chicken and act like they were in a boy band and stuff so I was thinking do you guys think I should do that soon do you think I should uh, ride a mechanical bull what do you guys think Also, just before my birthday, uh, within the first, like, within a week before my birthday, there's a Hamill Rodeo. Hamill is a uh, city near me, so. Every year, I'm not sure with what's been going on the past few years, but uh, looks like they're putting it on this year. But every year they do try to put on a uh, rodeo. So I've been wanting to go to that for a long time. And, um... This year it's uh, July 7th through July 10th. I know for a while they were doing like a, uh, oh here we go, event calendar. Oh, that's where I just was. Looks like they're going to have somebody with a whip there. And there's a parade. Oh, yeah, there's like bull riding, stuff like that too, and all that stuff. So if you guys want to see me go to a um, rodeo and bull riding thing, let me know. I don't know about you. I'm feeling 22! So, uh, if I had an iguana and it wound up not doing what it was supposed to, would that be a reptile dysfunction? That sucks. You know what sucks? The fact that Twitch no longer has their desktop app. Uh, so, I just had some dinner and I wound up bringing it out uh, to the uh, apartment's courtyard. And uh, right when I finished up, I wound up feeling a bunch of rain. Well, I I have something planned over the next couple days where I just don't know whether I'm going to do this tomorrow or the day after. So, it is 10 o'clock right now, and I haven't really done too much. I still feel good. I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit better. I need to drink a lot more water, though. I start to sail along these ocean waves Nobody knows, nobody knows how to find us It's turning out to be a perfect day I just want to leave our normal lives behind us So let's get lost out here No one else out here Find ourselves out here oh. We could disappear into this atmosphere Where this water is clear
stuff like that. I was planning on using it at some point, but it's always locked and I don't know who to talk to. If I can get uh, everything all set up with getting my uh, gym unlocked so I can use it, how many of you would like to uh, see me at least try to work out? Because I do, I do want to actually do a little bit of exercise and I do a little... Uh, I, hey, I do want to do a little bit of working out. I just, I don't know, things are just kind of not going right. So, that may not be for a while, but I do plan on going to work out at some point. Uh, I just got done recording some uh, Minecraft gameplay. Um, the video I recorded is a continuation of some uh, Minecraft gameplay that I previously recorded that hasn't come out yet. Um, where previously I had lost all of my stuff at a spawner. And I went and got all the stuff that I had originally lost because I died in Minecraft. So, yeah, I've got that video uploading on my gaming channel. Um, I've got a few golf, like mini golf videos. I've got a bunch of other stuff coming out. I actually have about nine hours worth of footage to go through to add to my uh, upcoming best of the year video for my gaming channel. So, yay. If you guys want to see that, link to that's down below. Um, yeah, it's already almost 1 a.m. now. So, I'll figure out something to do. So, I am currently looking into... Um, doing a few tours of haunted places uh, starting in Anoka um, there is um, Billy's Barn Grill which I've been to in the vlogs uh, used to be Jackson Hotel but then there's also the Anoka State um, Hospital uh, which opened in right around 1900 according to all the stories that I've heard about it it first started out as a mental hospital in 1900 when it first opened and there were a hundred incurable patients that were admitted there eventually with all the people that they took in they started trying to cure people with um, like electroshock therapy or even several other types of different therapies and things that would now be considered more harmful or not humane. Basically for the entirety of when it was open there were there was the main hospital and then there were um, other just little buildings that were brought up and there were uh, tunnels that connected all of these places underground. With that like basically when it was first opened there were people that would escape, um, and there would be a few people that would get out and actually escape. But then the stories are that considerably more people wound up trying to use the tunnels that are underneath uh, all the buildings there 
as a way to escape, but they wound up getting lost or wound up not being able to find their way out. And some of these people, according to the stories, committed suicide, and the story goes that there's a few people there that wound up not only committing suicide and getting buried in a cemetery that are on, that's on the ground. Some of these people that committed suicide did wind up, according to the stories, came back as ghosts to haunt the place. And of course, uh, it says here on this site here, a number of urban legends about the hospital have circulated over the years, especially about an underground tunnel that had been constructed to aid in the transportation of patients between buildings. Stories of patients trying to use the, use the tunnel to escape, and even some getting lost and committing suicide have been part of local lore and have given rise to reports of supernatural activity on the premises. Now, I am wanting to basically take a tour of not only the Anoka State Hospital, but of Billy's Bar and Grill, which is the building I said used to be Jackson Hotel. I'm reaching out to these places to try and do some sort of tour or, you know, figure out something to stay overnight or something else to get video footage for all of you. Because these stories, there's a lot of stories, and I want to be able to, I want to be able to tell a few stories and make a few good videos on my channel. So, I'm looking forward to reaching out to these places in an attempt to be able to film or something. So, if you guys want to see that, please let me know.